Hello and welcome back to the FreeQMS channel, where we communicate working updates and tutorials to our users. In today's video, we wanted to walk our users through the process of obtaining new modules. When you start a fresh instance of FreeQMS, your company automatically is given access to the supplier's module, the customer's module, and the non-conformance module. These are free forever for an unlimited number of users. That said, the admin can limit access to specific modules for specific users, though we'll cover this further later in the video. For now, to unlock more modules, you'll have to navigate to the Modules and Billing tab from the main menu. You should see that suppliers, customers, and non-conformance are already selected, while the rest are not. As the rest of the modules are paid plans, your company will have to enter billing info before continuing further. Once the billing info has been successfully entered, you can simply slide the desired module or modules on and save the page at the bottom. Once saved and activated, the next step is to visit the Users panel on the left. Assuming you're on the account that created the FreeQMS instance, you should already be a super user, meaning you have full access to every module available to the company. If you want to grant access to other users, there will be two options. If they already have a FreeQMS account in your instance, start by clicking Edit on their name. Once you arrive at the desired user's edit page, you should scroll down to find the permission setting for the applicable module you're looking for. Using audits as an example, we will show that you can grant varying levels of permissions to each user on a per-module basis. We can choose to deny rights to a module entirely, grant the user permission to view records but not edit them, grant permission to view and edit records, or give them the ability to view records, edit them, and create new ones from scratch. This is the permission you will want to give users with the most freedom in a specific module. These varied levels of permissions can be used for all different modules and can be mixed and matched to suit your requirements. You can also choose, at the bottom, to inactivate users, and also select if you want to give them admin rights, overriding any potential other permission settings you may have given them prior. Looking up slightly, we see the Division section. This is just FreeQMS's version of Sites, a feature commonly seen in many other quality management systems. This allows you to filter which records a user or group of users may see and have access to. For example, you may have a Division 1 for your North American branch and potentially a Division 2 for your European branch. If you wish, you can also select multiple divisions or simply use a global division if you have no current need for this. Creating divisions is extremely simple. Just click the Divisions tab on the left, where you can see all current divisions and the number of users and records attached to each. Then, click the Create Division button at the top of the page. Doing so will allow you to assign a name to the division. Once done, click the Create button and you're good to go. And that covers everything for today. Getting started in FreeQMS is exceptionally simple. Most businesses are set up and ready to go for the first time in less than an hour, easily the fastest uptime of any QMS on the market. For returning users, don't forget to check out the in-program user survey for a chance to see your requested changes make it into the next update. As always, we appreciate and value your feedback, and hope to see you again soon in our next video. Thank you for choosing FreeQMS.